our dynamic relations, and this presentation is our one-year plan for at Precision, which will be presented by myself, Michelle Curtis, David Goggins, Rahan Shamasi, and Sammy Wong. And over to David first. The first thing we're looking at is the campaign objectives. Uh, Precision needs to build awareness of the label products and product range by identifying the key uh, target segments that form the basis of their sales. This, these are men between the age of 25 and 30, 50. Uh, the next part is to create a distinctive image that differentiates the brand from others in the marketplace. Uh, I presume we could go for the traditional bespoke tailoring and look at uh, fashion shows or people to endorse the products for them. Uh, they have increased uh, share in the last uh, year by 25% and increased sales by 25% from 49 million to 59 million sales. Uh, there's also been uh, the, the need to modify attitudes towards the brand. Uh, in the past, it might have seen a little stage and old-fashioned, but they need to re, re look at the, the 21st century to move forward. forward so, so. Thank you, David. Aqua's future has been targeting too broad of audience by using a skeptic and approach, by which has proven that it damaged the brand image. We recommend Aqua's future to adopt a more focused differentiation strategy. It is essential for Aqua's future to segment by demographics, but also psychographics according to lifestyles, personalities, and social economic groups. In our pen profile, we chose Edward and Laura, both within the age group of 25 to 50 years old. They live in the affluence area in Richmond and Cheltenham. They got good income and good jobs. They are class AB. Edward is a very has a very strong political view and is very ambitious. Laura is a busy housewife and she is a very outgoing person. This is the person which we are targeting for and to my colleagues Michelle. For our creative strategy, our strap plan will be be a British icon. And our single minor proposition will be to distort the lines between luxury and necessity. We will be using emotion and symbolic experiential orientation. We will convince our consumers that our products are no mere luxury, but are also a necessity. You need them. A great example of this would be women who in particular spend large amounts of money on lingerie in the belief that they will have better sex lives. Meanwhile, we will be enforcing our heritage and our history so that the foundation of our strategy isn't based on vanity alone. The three things we also will be doing in our strategy will be to constantly repeat our adverts, reinforce our message so that our message is recognised in the evoked set of the consumer. For our communications mix, we'll be having advertising, sales promotion, direct marketing and public relations. In our advertising, we'll be using a range of media such as TV and magazines. Our sales promotion, consumers who have purchased the magazines will be entitled to discounts on our older collections in our stores. For direct marketing, we have enlisted a list broker to give us 3,000 extra names who we can send mail to, hopefully turn them into potential customers. We will also be sending mail to existing customers. For public relations, we will have Pippa Middleton who will be endorsing our product. We will offer her £30,000 to give to her favourite charity. In exchange, she will wear our clothing throughout the week of London Fashion Week and also on the wedding of her sister's anniversary. Alright, for the testing, there's going to be pre-campaign testing and post-campaign testing. Pre-campaign testing needs to be conducted as there is no baseline data for us. For us and post-campaign needs to be taken for it to show how effective our campaign has been. There are going to be two types of recall tests, aided and unaided. Aided is where the respondent is given a list of brands and asked to write down the ones he's aware of. Unaided is where the respondent is just asked to write down the brands he's aware of. Perceptual mapping is where the respondent has to place the brand on the map in comparison to its competitors through characteristics such as quality and uh, cost. Not only that, but also the sales promotion, which will be measured through the vouchers that are used, which will measure the footfall, will uh, be recorded every time a voucher has been redeemed at a store or a concession. And these vouchers that have been redeemed will be recorded in our database. So thank you for listening, and I hope this presentation has been very helpful.